Rational Expressions and Equations, Part 1. Okay, let's look at multiplying these fractions. In this numerator, we have factors of negative 28 that add up to 3. That'll be a 4 and a 7, where the 7 is positive. In the denominator, we just have x plus 3. On the right-hand side, we have our x minus 5. And in the denominator, we have factors of 7 that add up to 8. That'll be a positive 1 and a positive 7. Now let's review for a second. If you have 1 half times 2 thirds, you can multiply straight across and get 2 over 6, which reduces to 1 third. Or you can reduce it first. 2 will go into 2 one time, and you're left with 1 third. Okay, so that's what we want to do here. We get it completely factored, and then we start reducing stuff. We can cross off these x plus 7s. Is there anything else that we'll reduce? In the numerator, we have x minus 4, x minus 5. And in the denominator, we have x plus 3, x plus 1. None of those are common factors, or none of those are reducible. So that's as far as we can go on that one. Now whenever you divide fractions, let's say we have 1 half divided by 2 thirds. Remember you're supposed to keep the first fraction the same, take the reciprocal of the second, which just means flip it over, and then make it multiplication. Then you treat it like a multiplication problem. That one would give you 3 fourths in this case. So let's go ahead and do that to this problem but we will factor, and we'll go ahead and flip this one the same time we factor. So the numerator of the first fraction, factors of negative 20 that add up to 1. That would be a 4 and a 5, where the 5 is positive and the 4 is negative. We're going to go ahead and make it multiplication and put the 16x cubed in the numerator. Okay, factors of 16 that add up to a negative 8, that will be a negative 4 and a negative 4. So as you can see, these x minus 4s can reduce. But how about the other stuff? How about this 4? 4 will go into 16 4 times, and this x will reduce with one of these, leaving two x's there. So it looks like what we have will be a 4x squared in the numerator, also an x plus 5 in the numerator, and in the denominator we're left with an x minus 4.